Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television. And on this episode of Quiz Central, we continue our season with a first round game between Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart and St. Michael Academy, coming up right after this. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Let's get today's match underway. Here is your first question on Quiz Central. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Crimson. Yes, that answer is correct. Patella. Correct. Congratulations, Ludington. You are the Quiz Central Season 16 Grand Champions. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthew Ozanek, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 17th season of Quiz Central right here on WCMU. Once again, our annual academic competition is being held virtually. Teams will be joining us via Zoom from high schools all across Central and Northern Michigan. Our two competing teams today will be independently challenged with an identical set of questions. The school that answers the most questions correctly in the time allotted advances to the next round. At the end of the season, four Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore. This week, the Gold Division takes center stage, so without further ado, let's get today's match underway. Our first round is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Our teams will have two minutes to answer as many questions correctly as they can. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. There's no deduction for incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but the final answers will be coming from the team's captains. Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart, you're up first. Here comes your first question in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. What man who created Matrix Mechanics with Pascal Jordan and Max Born found a limit on measuring position and momentum in his uncertainty principle? Final answer, Einstein. Einstein's incorrect. On to the next question. Franjo Tudjman fought for the independence of what former Yugoslav Republic, whose capital is Zagreb? Is it like a country or like yeah. a Croatia? Croatia. Croatia. Final answer, Croatia. That is correct. What painting in which a nymph is held by the flying wind god Sefer is by Sandro Botticelli and shows a nude love goddess on a scallop shell? <laughs> Final answer, the birth of Aphrodite. Oh, that is incorrect. On to the next question. Elementary particles correspond to vibration modes of what one-dimensional objects, which can be open or closed in a namesake theory of physics? Final answer is circular. Circular is incorrect. On to the next question. What lawman allied with his brother Virgil and Morgan, along with Doc Holliday, to win an 1881 shootout at Tombstone, Arizona's OK Corral? Pass. 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 On the next question. In what state did former Governor John Hickenlooper defeat incumbent Cory Gardner in 2020 for a Senate seat? Final answer, Arizona. Arizona's incorrect. On to the next question. What character who takes a job as a window washer in a 1947 book is captured in Africa by the man with the yellow hat and is a curious monkey? Curious George. Final answer, Curious George. That is correct. Oh, and with that bell, that's going to signify the end of the round. Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart finishes their opening round with two correct answers and 20 points. St. Michael Academy, it's now your turn in the Maroon and Gold Rush round. Let's put two minutes up on the clock. What man who created Matrix Mechanics with Pascal Jordan and Max Born found a limit on measuring position and momentum in his uncertainty principle? Pass. Pass. Next question. Franjo Tujman fought for the independence of what former Yugoslav Republic, whose capital is Zagreb? Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia is incorrect. On to the next question. What painting in which a nymph is held by the flying wind god Zephyr is by Sandro Botticelli and shows a nude love goddess on a scallop shell? Uh, the birth of Venus. Birth of Venus is correct. 
Elementary particles correspond to vibration modes of what one-dimensional objects, which can be open or closed in a namesake theory of physics? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. What lawman allied with his brothers Virgil and Morgan, along with Doc Holliday, to win an 1881 shootout at Tombstone, Arizona's OK Corral? Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp's correct. In what state did former Governor John Hickenlooper defeat incumbent Cory Gardner in 2020 for a Senate seat? Uh, Colorado. Colorado is correct. What character who takes a job as a window washer in a 1947 book is captured in Africa by the man with the yellow hat and is a curious monkey? Uh, George. George is correct. What paired glands that produce aldosterone and cortisol are located just above the kidneys and produce a namesake fight or flight hormone? Uh, adrenal glands. Adrenal glands is correct. What man who was president of South Africa until 2018, oh, and with that bell, we're gonna signify the end of the round. We wrap up our maroon and gold rush with Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart 20, St. Michael Academy 50. And here are the answers to the missed questions in that round. The man who created the uncertainty principle, that was Werner Heisenberg. And those one dimensional objects that can be opened or closed, we were looking for strings. Lots more Quiz Central to play still ahead, so it could be anyone's game. But right now, we're going to take this opportunity to meet our players from each of today's schools. Let's start with the students from Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart. Hello, I'm Samuel Powell. I'm a junior, and I like to play basketball and golf. Hi, I'm Alex Latham. I'm a sophomore at Sacred Heart, and I play football, basketball, and golf. I'm Bridget Ruiz. I'm a sophomore at Sacred Heart, and I play volleyball. Hello, I'm Aishwarya, and I go to Sacred Heart Academy, and I'm a freshman, and I play the piano. Thank you, Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart. Now the team from St. Michael Academy. Take it away. Hi, my name is Liam Nolan. I'm a senior at St. Michael Academy, and um, I play hockey. I'm Ann Mercer. I'm a sophomore, and I'm on the volleyball team. Uh, my name is Catherine. I am a sophomore at St. Michael Academy, and I swim competitively. I am Daniel Keith. I am a sophomore, and I play baseball. Now that we've had a chance to meet everyone today, let's head into the next round of competition, the Perfect Ten. In this round, our teams will be given a category, and they'll have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as they can. Our Perfect Ten category for today is Colorful Kids Books. Name these young adult and children's books with colors in their titles. Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart, we're gonna start with you. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock and head into the perfect 10 round. A Dr. Seuss book with just 50 unique words. Final answer, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. That is incorrect, next question. Chronicles of Narnia book named for a place to sit. White chair. Final answer, white chair. White chair is incorrect. Scott O'Dell novel about a stranded Native American girl. Final answer, island of the Blue Dolphins. Of the Blue Dolphins. That is correct. First book in the His Dark Materials series. Pass. Pass. On the next one. Anna Sewell novel about a horse. Final answer, Black Beauty. Black Beauty is correct. Wilson Raw's novel featuring Old Dan and Little Ann. Oh, with that bell is gonna signify the end of the round. Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart ends their perfect 10 with 20 points and a total of 40 points so far today. It's now St. Michael Academy's turn to try to add to their score in the perfect 10 round. Let's put 60 seconds up on the clock. A Dr. Seuss book with just 50 unique words. Uh, red fish, red fish, blue fish, uh, and, and advanced. <laughs> Sorry, that is incorrect. On to the next question. A Chronicles of Narnia book named for a place to sit. Silver chair. The silver chair. Silver chair is correct. 
Scott O'Dell novel about a stranded Native American girl. Blue Dolphins. Island of the Blue Dolphins. Island of the Blue Dolphins is correct. First book in the His Dark Materials series. Pass. Pass. Next question. Ann Sewell novel about a horse. Black Stallion. The Black Stallion. Black Stallion's incorrect. Wilson Raw's novel featuring Old Dan and Little Ann. Uh, where the Red Fern Grows. Correct. Brian Jock's novel, Introducing an Abbey of Mice. Uh, Red Wall. Correct. Book, oh, sorry, that bill's going to signify the end of the round. St. Michael Academy finishes up today's Perfect Ten with 40 points and now sits with a total of 90. Those Perfect Ten questions that were missed, the Dr. Seuss book with just 50 unique words, well, that was green eggs and ham. And the first book in the His Dark Material series was The Golden Compass. Two rounds in the book so far. Our score is Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart 40, St. Michael Academy 90. As we now head into our third round of the day, the home stretch round. I'll be asking each team a series of random questions. Team members will be able to consult with each other and final answers will be coming from the captains. We're gonna start with Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart in today's home stretch round. Students, here comes your first question. What 19th century novel's characters include young Evangeline St. Clair and the brutal Simon Legree? Pass. Pass, on the next question. Mach's principle concerns what property of matter that gives rise to Newton's first law, which is the tendency of matter in motion to stay in motion? Final answer, inertia. Inertia is correct. What main target of the Brighton Hotel bombing led Britain into the Falklands War, was nicknamed the Iron Lady, and was the first female British Prime Minister? Uh, no. Pass. Pass. Pass, on to the next question. What architectural term refers to a long series of columns joined at the top, such as the curved rows of columns lining St. Peter's Square? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. What country, which is east of the Gulf of Man Manar, is largely inhabited by the Sinhalese people and lies off the coast of southeast India? Thailand. Final answer, Thailand. Thailand's incorrect. On to the next question. What Greek hero who married Medea led the Argonauts on their quest for the Golden Fleece? My answer. Sorry, could you repeat that? Jason. Jason's correct. What Greek letter is often used to symbolize, symbolize angular frequency and the SI unit of electrical resistance? Theta. Final answer, theta. Theta's incorrect. What nation, which includes the Tivoli Gardens, was home to author Hans Christian Andersen and philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, who lived in Copenhagen? German. Denmark. No, no, Denmark. Yeah, Denmark. Denmark. Final answer, Denmark. Denmark's correct. The Tilde-shaped Copan building is in what most populous city in the Western Hemisphere? Final answer, Los Angeles. LA is incorrect. The Assassin Sub-Zero appears in what 2021 film streamed on HBO Max that is based on a video game series? Final answer, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat's correct. What scientist with a namesake tuning fork diagram lends his name to a law about the recessional velocity of galaxies and to a space telescope? What? <laughs> Final answer, Hubble. Hubble's correct. Sam Rayburn was the longest serving holder of what federal office, which Newt Gingrich assumed after the 1994 midterm elections? What? Final answer, Speaker of the House. That is correct. Oh, and with that bell, that's going to signify the end of the round. Well, Mount Pleasant's Sacred Heart certainly gained some momentum in the home stretch round and adds 60 points to their score, bringing their total up to 100. We now turn to St. Michael Academy to see how they'll handle today's home stretch round. Students, here comes your first question. What 19th century novel's characters include young Evangeline St. Clair and the brutal Simon Legree? 
Pass. Mach's principle concerns what property of matter that gives rise to Newton's first law, which is the tendency of matter in motion to stay in motion? Uh, inertia. Inertia is correct. What main target of the Brighton Hotel bombing led Britain into the Falklands War, was nicknamed the Iron Lady, and was the first female British Prime Minister? Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher is correct. What architectural term refers to a long series of columns joined at the top, such as the curved rows of columns lining St. Peter's Square? Pass. Pass. Next question. What country, which is east of the Gulf of Manar, is largely inhabited by the Sinhalese people and lies off the coast of southeast India? Uh, Borneo. Borneo is incorrect. On to the next question. What Greek hero who married Medea led the Argonauts on their quest for the Golden Fleece? Jason. Jason's correct. What Greek letter is often used to symbolize angular frequency and the SI unit of electrical resistance? Uh, I don't know. Sigma. Sigma's incorrect. What nation, which includes the Tivoli Gardens, was home to author Hans Christian Andersen and philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, who lived in Copenhagen? Denmark. Denmark's correct. The Tilde-shaped Copan building is in what most populous city in the Western Hemisphere? Uh, Los Angeles. Incorrect. On to the next question. The Assassin, Sub-Zero, appears in what 2021 film streamed on HBO Max that is Mortal based Kombat. on a video? Mortal Kombat is correct. What scientist with a namesake tuning fork diagram lends his name to a law about the recessional velocity of galaxies and to a space telescope? Uh, Hubble. Hubble is correct. Sam Rayburn was the longest serving holder of what federal office? which Newt Gingrich assumed after the 1994 midterm elections. Uh, pass. Pass. Next question. What grandmother of a boy named Drew investigates the disappearance of Katie Bailey and was played by Kate Winslet on an HBO series set in Easttown? Pass. Pass. Next question. What war, which was sparked by incidents like the Chesapeake Leonard Affair and complaints of imprisonment, led to the British burning of Washington? War of 1812. 1812 is correct. Oh, and that bell is going to signify the end of the round. Let's go ahead and take a look at the questions that we missed in that round. Uh, that 19th century novel whose characters include young Evangeline St. Clair and the brutal Simon Legree was Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uh, that architectural term that refers to a long series of columns joined at the top were colonnades. Uh, that country that is largely inhabited by the Sinhalese people and lies off of the coast of southeast India was Sri Lanka. Uh, the Greek letter often used to symbolize angular frequency in the SI unit of electrical resistance was omega. Uh, and the Copan building is in the most populous city in the western hemisphere that happens to be Sao Paulo in Brazil. Not to be outdone, St. Michael Academy answers right back with seven correct answers for 70 points in today's home stretch. Our score is now Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart 100, St. Michael Academy 160. And we head into the final round of the day, the final countdown. Our teams will have two minutes to answer as many questions correctly as they can with correct answers still being worth 10 points apiece. Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart, you're first in the final countdown. Let's put two minutes on the clock and here comes your first question. What superhero who was created by William Moulton Marston wears a pair of bracelets of submission and is portrayed in films by Gal Gadot? Final answer, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's correct. What avian term is used when a golfer plays a hole in one stroke under par? Birdie. Final answer, Birdie. Birdie's correct. What type of element whose first member is scandium sits between the S and P blocks and contains metals with partially filled D orbitals? D block. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Next question. 
Eleanor Roosevelt arranged for what opera singer to sing at the Lincoln Memorial in 1939 after segregated concert halls barred her from appearing? What? Just... Pass. Pass. Next question. What European city, whose harbor was made off limits to cruise ships in 2021, is slowly sinking into a namesake lagoon and lies off northern Italy? Venice. Yeah. Finance of Venice. Venice is correct. What stabilizing phenomenon that occurs through movement of electrons can be represented by multiple Lewis structures for a compound? Finance of iron bind bonding. Oh, sorry, incorrect. Next question. What novel, whose title character plays croquet with flamingos as mallets at the request of the Queen of Hearts, was written by Lewis Carroll? Final answer, Alice in Wonderland. Correct. In April 2021, what Caribbean island, the namesake of a country along with the Grenadines, was the site of an eruption of the La Soufere volcano? St. Vincent. Final answer, St. Vincent. Correct. What country owns the island of Tortuga? Was Oh, sorry, but that bell is going to signify the end of the round, so we're not going to be able to get to that last question. But you were able to get one, two, three, four, five correct answers in the final countdown, Mount Pleasant, which brings your total after four rounds of Quiz Central to 150 yeah. points. Thank you, Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart. Now, St. Michael Academy, it's your turn to enter the final countdown. Here comes your first question. What superhero who was created by William Moulton Marston wears a pair of bracelets of submission and is portrayed in films by Gal Gadot? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's correct. What avian term is used when a golfer plays a hole in one stroke under par? Uh, birdie. Birdie's correct. What type of element whose first member is scandium sits between the S and P blocks and contains metals with partially filled D orbitals? Pass. Eleanor Roosevelt arranged for what opera singer to sing at the Lincoln Memorial in 1939 after segregated concert halls barred her from appearing? Florence Nightingale. That is incorrect. Next question. What European city, whose harbor was made off limits to cruise ships in 2021, is slowly sinking into a namesake lagoon and lies off northern Italy? Venice. Venice is correct. What stabilizing phenomenon that occurs through movement of electrons can be represented by multiple Lewis structures for a compound? Uh, ionization. Ionization's incorrect. What novel, whose title character plays croquet with flamingos as mallets at the request of the Queen of Hearts, was written by Lewis Carroll? Uh, Alice in Wonderland. Correct. In April 2021, what Caribbean island, the namesake of a country along the Grenadines, was the site of an eruption of the La Soufrere volcano? Uh, St. Vincent. St. Vincent is correct. What country owns the island of Tortuga, was once, wet, once led by the dictator Papa Doc Duvalier and shares Hispaniola with the Dominican Republic? Uh, yeah, Haiti. Haiti's correct. The 1991 Paris Peace Agreements formally ended a war between which two Southeast Asian communist countries that began in 1978? Uh, Cambodia and Vietnam. Correct. Oh, and with that bell's going to signify the two minutes are up, the end of the final countdown. Great job, St. Michael Academy. You were able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven correct answers for a total of 70 points. Well, after four rounds of competition, our final score is Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart 150, St. Michael Academy 230. St. Michael pull ahead early in the game, making it tough for Mount Pleasant to catch up. And those final round answers that we missed were? The type of element whose first member is scandium and sits between S and P blocks and contains metals with partially filled D orbitals. Those are transition metals. The opera singer who sang at the Lincoln Memorial in 1938 was Marian Anderson. The stabilizing phenomenon that occurs through movement of electrons uh, is, we're looking for resonance. Today's victors on Quiz Central are the students from St. Michael Academy. Congratulations. But we definitely want to thank Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart for joining us today for a great game on Quiz Central. Seniors, good luck to you in all of your future endeavors. And underclassmen, we hope to see you next season right back here on Quiz Central. 
And we, of course, hope that all of you will join us again in our next episode of QC as two more Michigan schools compete for the Season 17 title. And as a reminder, all episodes of Quiz Central are archived online at WCMU.org. From the crew here at WCMU Public Television, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all right back here for the next episode of Quiz Central. Good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.